Hey, welcome back. My name is Dan and I love making everyday technology easy. I worked at Apple for 19 years and now I am in full-time ministry. If you are anything like me, you are busy. You have work, you have family, you have friends, you just have life. So you know that your most valuable asset is without a, a shadow of a doubt time. Well, in my last video, I gave you a, uh, a list of productivity tools, how to become better at your Apple, or I should say, becoming more productive with the Apple apps that you already have in your device. And today I want to kind of take it up a notch uh, by infusing Apple intelligence. Now, listen, AI is the, the, the crazy topic. It's the word of the day, right? And there's a lot of, I think, misconceptions about artificial intelligence. And it's scary, without a doubt. It, you know, uh, too much is given, much is expected. Uh, but I am going to show you how we can use Apple intelligence within the Apple ecosystem in a very productive way. Now, before I dive in, I, I do want to kind of sprinkle in a little bit more. Um, I, I truly believe that Apple intelligence is probably the safest way to go because the way that Apple really does to does because Apple does so much to protect our information on our devices. Now that could be a discussion for another day, but I think they do things right. The very first tip that I wanna show you is Apple intelligence and mail. Now I know that there are a lot of mail um, applications that are out there. I love the Apple mail that comes standard within our uh, ecosystem, within your phone, within your app, iPad, within your Mac. Now here I've, I've gone ahead and I've opened up a generic email and as you can see it's fairly long. And if you're like me, uh, I am a inbox zero person. Can I get an amen? If you're an inbox zero, I, I want to hear it down below. I, I, don't, I don't want to see that I have any unread mail. Call me crazy, but that's just me. Uh, my wife has 35,000 and she's perfectly fine having that little red sticker. I am, I'm not. So I am one that loves to clear out my inbox. And I'll be honest, sometimes if I come across an email like this, which is pretty lengthy, I typically do my scan. Well, inevitably, you might lose some information. You might miss out on a key specific data. So the awesome thing about Apple Intelligence, the fact that it's built in to the operating system, it's that it's available in most applications. So here within Apple Mail, I'm in the top toolbar, on the way in the top right-hand corner, we have the Apple Intelligence logo with a pencil. So if I go ahead and I click on that, I'll get an option. It says, hey, describe your changes. This could have been an email that I composed. Do I want to proof, re uh, proof, proof read it? Do I want to rewrite it? Do I want to make it sound friendly, professional, concise, etc.? I love the summary. If I want to get just a clear picture of what this email is talking about, Apple Intelligence will scan the email, will kind of cons uh, consolidate for me, give me a summary and I can easily replace and it literally gave me just a few sentences. Now, caution, uh, it, it's going to try its very best to give you a summary. So I always say uh, um, trust but verify. Well, here you, you're, you're going to want to trust and like double verify. But without a doubt, this is much more consumable for me based on my schedule. So that is one powerful way where you can become even more productive to start incorporating Apple intelligence within mail. And you can saw there, and not only will it summarize that to just a quick summary, it'll give me a list, it'll give me a bulletproof. If that was an email that I was composing, maybe I got a, I got to my station, I wrote a, um, I composed an email, maybe it's a proposition, and, and I'm thinking to myself, does it sound friendly enough? Does it sound professional? Maybe I want to tweak it. Apple Intelligence, without a doubt, can summarize it for you, can rewrite it for you. Many people, I still I still walk by today, and, and a lot of people are using ChatGPT. They were kind of like one of the first ones to kind of make it big. And people are like copying and then going over to ChatGPT and pasting and back and forth when you have those tools built right in. So be more productive and use Apple Intelligence within Mail. 
All right, so the next one I wanna show you is notes. If you saw my last video, you'll recognize or probably know that I love the notes application. I live within notes. I do a mind dump on notes there on Monday where I just kind of put everything down to notes. I, I'll categorize by folder, create subfolders. Again, if you haven't watched that video, go make sure you watch it. But here I have opened up a generic note and uh, let me just rearrange my windows here. So again, the power of having everything built in into an ecosystem and Apple intelligence within it, you see that we have the exact same icon, almost in the exact same location, the top toolbar. I'm gonna to go ahead and click on it there. And again, I have the same options. It could, it could read it for me, rewrite it. It can make it sound friendlier, professional, concise, summary, key points, etc. But within notes, it's a powerful way to actually make this into a list. Now, this particular note, it's probably not a real list, but it will definitely break it up by bullet points. This is powerful. Let the, let the intelligence work for you. This is just speeding up your productivity without a doubt. I can always revert that and go back. I can say, hey, you know what? Make it into a table. It's gonna go ahead and divide that, that those data points into app feature productivity. Like how cool is that? Like how instantaneous is that? And again, trust but verify. You wanna definitely go back and check out all the data points there, but without a doubt, super, super easy. Another application that Apple has definitely improved with Apple Intelligence is the calendar application. Now using your virtual assistant, uh, becomes much more casual conversation. You can even uh, just speak naturally. You're not speaking like a robot like we used to. It's getting better and better and better. So let's try it out. Hey Siri, set a calendar appointment for this Saturday at 8.30 p.m. dinner with my wife. So very quickly and easily, it was able to assign and create a calendar appointment for, for me. This is a demo phone, but it, in, re, in reality, if um, it would have detected my wife's contact, it would have asked me if I wanted to invite this person being my wife. It would have set a calendar invitation. I could have even specified the name of the restaurant or the address. It would have used contextual information to go and add that address to that calendar invitation, therefore giving me uh, the, the appropriate time to leave. Amazing. Another area or another application, I should say, where Apple Intelligence is definitely infused is within the Voice Memos app. Now, again, a powerful tool that comes right out of the box on your phone, on your watch, on your Mac, on your iPad. So here what I've done, I've gone ahead and I've opened up my 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 um, Apple, Apple Voice Memo, I can't talk tonight, and I titled one here, Productivity Workflow. And all I did, I, I went to my previous video and I recorded a portion of that, of that YouTube video. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit play. You may, may not be able to hear it. Hey, welcome back. My name is Dan and this is my channel. So there it is and I'm it starts, starts saying, so once it's captured my voice memo, if I tap on the three dots there on the far right, you'll notice that it'll now say view transcript. And this is pretty powerful. If I view the transcript, there it is, kind of verbatim what I was saying. I can search for a specific word, a keyword. Maybe I'm looking for something. Uh, there are so many. Let's just stop and think about all the applications here. If you're a student taking uh, a lecture from a professor, Nine out of 10 times you're recording the, the class to make sure that you got down all the notes. If you are an uh, insurance adjuster, maybe you're on the road, uh, you're a realtor and you're using your device to uh, capture data that you don't wanna forget. Well, now it's actually created a transcript for you. I can go ahead and tap the, the, the three dots, hit copy transcript. Now, if I go right back to my notes and I create a note, I can just I can tap and paste or I can swipe with three fr three finger pinch uh, to, to go ahead and paste. I just kind of do that little mo motion. That's a little bonus tip there. And then now my transcript is pasted on this note. Now, listen, I, I love this device, the Plod Note. Probably do a video on this sooner rather than later. I, this is a AI powered voice recorder that does a lot of um, uh, voice to text, it'll do summaries, it'll do analytics for you. But now that I've pasted this note using my built-in 
voice memo app, I can tap again on, on the very bottom, my Apple intelligence, and I can say, you know what, go ahead and create a, um, a summary or I can have it rewrite it, or I can say, hey, can you make this concise? Can you make it sound friendly? I can basically do whatever I want to make it the way that I need it. So in this case, I'm gonna make it sound professional since it is my, my recording there, and it's gonna go ahead and rewrite it for me. And it's gotten very, very powerful the way that you can now incorporate Apple Intelligence within Notes. And our assistant here has gotten better understanding context. So I can ask a question like, hey Siri, what is the temperature in New York? I'm sorry, I mean in Cupertino, California. So you can see, I even though I asked it temporarily for New York and then quickly changed it to Cupertino, it was, um, it was easy enough for, for the assistant to understand that I basically messed up, right? And knew that I was really asking for Cupertino. So again, Apple intelligence has been infused within the operating system. And the powerful thing here is that Apple has teamed up with ChatGPT. Now, again, I'm gonna close out like this. Uh, artificial intelligence is still a little scary to understand, scary to trust, and I get you. We should be cautious with new technology. I think the way that Apple has chosen to go this route is pretty safe. You are always aware when Apple devices going to go out to find data using ChatGPT. It's gonna tell you ahead of time. So if you don't wanna use it, you don't have to use it. You can opt out of it, um, but it's very, very secure. And again, what I love about Apple and Apple devices, it's never really giving your information. It's always giving a generic ID that will then be translated out to uh, outsources like ChatGPT. Uh, again, I hope this, this video, short as it may be, can, has given you a little bit of insight on how we can start leveraging Apple intelligence with our built-in productivity tools so that you and I can be even more productive because after all, we live busy lives and time is of the essence. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Do me a favor, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. We're growing the channel pretty quickly. I'm super proud and honored for that. Thank you for your trust. And drop down a comment below. Tell me how you are using Apple Intelligence or ChatGPT, um, or maybe you're not and, and the reasons why not. I, I definitely wanna know about it. There's some valid reasons not to know or not to use it, and that's totally cool. Um, but anyways, I hope that you found value in this. Stay tuned for many, many more videos. I will catch you soon. Catch you guys later, peace.